Watch your friends. So this is Kate Hartley coming to you live from Cornwall in very wild and windy southwest of the UK. Um, so for you friends over the sea, I'm thinking about you guys because I know you're in the middle of your election process. Um, hope that all goes well for you. I know there's an awful lot of media out about it at the moment. I'm giving no comment. But this one phrase literally changed the entire my entire approach to how I was living my life. I always felt there was like a little bit of resistance. I was the black sheep of the family. I'm always a little, I've been a little bit quirky. I am a little bit quirky. I like my quirky. And I know there's a lot of people out there, you guys, hey Mimi, um, you like your quirky too. Lucy, you're there too. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And um, Laura, lovely to see you. And um, yeah, the one thing that changed my entire approach to my life and my business was this tiny little sentence, you don't need their approval. Bah, bingo, it was so simple. And I don't know why that one sentence was so transformative to me, but you know when you are, you're living your life in alignment with your values, you're somebody who loves helping people, so you think you're pretty much doing the right thing in life, and then you get these negative Nancys that are always just like, mm, well, mm, yeah, honey bunny, mm, yeah, she doesn't do, mm, yeah. It's just like, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. And when I heard that one sentence, it was said to me by one of my mentors, who is like massive, has written books, a very normal, a common name in a lot of households of, of people that are slightly, you know, they're aware of things. And um, when I heard that, I just thought, bingo, that's it. I do not need their approval. All these years, I was doing things really in alignment with my values and my belief system. I'm, I'm really, really strong on my value system. And, um, so, you know, if, if somebody's saying things against the way I, I feel, I won't necessarily, I'm, I, I'd hate confrontation, but I get that inner resistance. And, and if they're waiting for a comment from me, unfortunately, I don't say the thing they probably want me to say. And I try and be polite, but you guys, I bet you're like that too. You know, if, if you're for, hey, Bridget, and hey, Emma, let me to see you guys. Hey, Dina. Um, it's just, you know, when you are constantly coming up against that resistance and it's probably not said, because I know you lot, you, 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 Jamie, hey, lovely to see you. I'm so sorry. You lost your little pussy cat. Really sorry about that. Um, sent you a big, I sent you a message and it's lots and lots of love. But you know when you're coming up against not what's normal, that you, it's like you, you've not fitted in the box like they expected you to fit in the box. And it's just like, why the heck? Why the heck even worry about it? Let them sit in the box. If they want to live their little lives in their little rigid boxes and stay in like a, a carton shaped thing on the counter in the supermarket, let them do that. But do not let people steal you of your enthusiasm and of your power and of your willingness to live life on your own terms because it is so, so valuable. Big kisses, Jamie. Hey, Pumi, lovely to see you as well. Um, your values matter. Your boundaries matter. I have, I'm, I'm going to, I've never even shared this before. But when I was younger, I used to go to parties. And because I was so shy, I mean, the thought of doing this literally would have killed me. I promise you. It's, it's only since I've become an, like working in this space that I've got better at it. I'm, I was so, so shy. And I used to go to parties. And because I was so shy, I just used to get drunk. I'd drink the strongest beer. Just like, oh, yeah. Hartley's out again. She's in the corner, comatose. And the reason I did it was because I was so shy. I didn't want to talk to people. And I wanted to be at the party, but I was really afraid of having an opinion and having a voice. And not just an opinion that's like, yes, you know, a contradictory opinion. I just didn't know what to say to people. I didn't know how to socialise people with people and feel comfortable with it. I don't know where it came from. I'm, I'm an INFJ. So for you guys that know what INFJ is. Uh, yeah, exactly. F the box. I know you know that. And um, it's, I, I just found it really, really hard. 
And it wasn't until I started like reading really cool books and listening to really cool audio books and surrounding myself with really inspiring people that I just thought, actually, do you know what? They, they are a different type of people to the way I live my life. And it doesn't matter. I don't need to live my life like they live their lives because if they're living their lives and they're happy and it's not doing anyone any harm, let them live their lives like that. But I didn't want that for my life. So always, always remember you need nobody's approval. So long as you're not outwardly harming people and you're not outwardly being a complete shithead, live your life. You do not need their approval. Surround yourself, if you can, with people that are going to lift you up. And I know sometimes it's really hard. I've been in a... I'm not going to go too far. I'm not going to go down that alley. But you can be surrounded by toxic people who it's very, very hard to extricate yourself from because they're so interwoven into your life. So if you're not able to remove yourself from that situation, read personal development books, listen to personal development audio books if you don't like reading or if you drive a lot and you, you, know, you don't have that spare time. But I bet, in fact, one thing I do in the early hours, hey Ruth, lovely to see you and Geraldine and Steph. Um, it, oh, my necklace, that is, it's disco beads. They're based in Cornwall. They're like cheap as chips and they come in different colours and they glow in the dark. They're really cool. When my son is performing on stage, he, um, he knows where I am in the audience because I'm, I'm like the black thing with the, just like the glowy neck. <laughs> but they work really, really well. Yeah, disco beads. Um, yeah, listen to audio books or read personal development books because it will help. It'll help give you, it'll help you define your values. It will help you maintain your boundaries. It'll help you understand actually who you are. Um, and it will, if you're not able to meet those people in person, you know, sort of surround yourself with those sorts of people that are going to lift you up and support you in your path. It doesn't matter because you're going to be reading it and it's going to be sort of becoming part of you and it's going to help you realize that you're really worthy and that you're really valuable what I do is if I wake up in the early hours and I can't go back to sleep I stick one of the I either uh, go onto a Facebook um, one of my mentors Facebook groups and I listen to a training in there and yes it does send me to sleep even though it's really interesting or um, listen to an audio book and just put it on. And I promise you, you'll go to sleep. You might listen to it for 30 minutes, 40 minutes. You'll, be, you'll learn stuff while you're doing it. But at least you're not just lying there thinking, oh, God, I'm ever going to go back to sleep. It doesn't matter because you're still learning. But you will go back to sleep because it takes you out of your head and you're learning something. You're doing something positive. So always, always remember, you do not need their approval. I appreciate you for joining me on this live. Um, if you know of somebody who really struggles with their boundaries or their values or just needs a bit of a pick me up, please share this with them because um, I think we all need to gang up together. Yeah, we're going to have like positive girl gang. Woohoo, zig zigar and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Or if you want my list of personal development books, I've got a very extensive list. Leave me a message, send me a message, and I will send that to you. Um, I just, I, th I think they're transformative. But always, always remember, you don't need their approval, and you are completely fabulous just as you are. And prayers, Jamie, if you're still on here. All right, you guys, have a great evening. Catch you soon.